Hi, I'm Dave with tipsforrunning.com. This is my son. I can't put him down, so that's why I'm holding him right now. Um, I'm going to talk about the Garmin 410. I love my Garmin. It's a GPS watch that communicates with this, a heart rate monitor. Now, as I run, I have this strapped to my chest, and I have my watch on my wrist. And it tells me exactly how far I'm going, what my heart rate is, the pace I'm running at. I'll show you some video of it as I run. Hopefully it won't be too shaky as I hold the camera as I'm running. And I'll show you it beeps at every mile if you want or at every kilometer. You can also set it for interval workouts. But it's awesome. I love it. It's expensive, but it keeps me motivated and I can't ask for much more than that. So I'll see you out on the road. Say bye. <laughs> All right, the first thing I'm doing is I turn on the GPS on my watch and it has to find the satellites. It just did that. Now I'm ready to run, but I can do something first. All right, you see right there? That's my heart rate right now. Obviously, it's a little lower because I'm not running. Next is. This is the pace that I want to run at for my run, and it'll tell me if I'm ahead or behind. And if I don't want to see that, I can see this. This is just the pace and the distance, or the amount of time I've run and the distance. Okay? Alright, I'm going to get started. Alright, I'm coming up on a mile. Miles usually at the fire hydrant. You can see my watch? It'll beep. Okay, see it tells me my mile and it counts it as lap one. When you tap the watch once it shows you your heart rate and then it says if you're ahead or behind your pace. My pace was um, 7.30, I'm walking right now so I'm losing my pace but I want to show you this. Alright, I'm close to mile two, let's see if it beeps. There it is, see? And it still says my lap time and all that stuff. There's my current heart rate. But there's a hill coming up. Let's see what it is at the top of the hill. Holy buckets. That was a long hill. Look at my heart rate. Yeah, well now it's slowing down because I'm walking, but yeah, it went up. I'm almost three miles. See, there it is. I think this one was slower. It's of a hill and a train and oh, all those excuses. But now I'm about time to start the rest of my workout. I'm gonna set up a workout now by going to training. And this isn't easy to do, um, especially when you're sweating and stuff. But you hit the button and I'm gonna do a workout and I'm gonna do an interval one. And it's a time, I'm setting the duration for one minute. The rest type is time. The duration I gotta change to one minute. See, so you drag the button to change it. See, whoops, that's set. Um, if I was smart, I gotta change the reps to 10. I would have. Um, had the first part of my workout be uh, my warm up, but I I wasn't smart, so I didn't plan that. So no warm up. I'll say yeah, I'll do a cool down. And now it's time to do the workout. When I hit do workout, it's going to be that first minute hard, and then the second minute's easy. So it's minute hard, minute easy, minute hard, minute easy. So as soon as I click that button, it's time. But I got to get to the track. I actually ran from my house to the track for the warm up. And this is going to be the hard part. All right, fun time. This is going to be shaky, but see a beep? It's telling me I'm almost done. See, now I can relax. Then I got a minute of slow jog. You ready for that dreadful noise again? This means I have to run fast now. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Do you see my heart right now? It's up there. Oh, it'll show in a minute. See, it went up during the hard part. Whew. So that was my workout. 
it was hard. 20 minutes warm up jog, which I ran too fast. And then 10 minute, one, 10 one minute pickups with one minute rest in between. It's part of the Marius Bach in 100 day marathon plan, which is awesome. I'm actually using it for a half marathon that I run in two months. I feel like I'm in getting in good shape, only time will tell. But I'll show you the results on my watch when I upload it to the computer. It's pretty sweet. That's my favorite part. Also, special thanks to my wife for saving me on the track <laughs> so I don't have to run back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, so I'm back now from the run, all cleaned up, uh, and now it's time to upload the information for my watch. So I need my watch, and I need this. This is called a Garmin Ant stick, or A-N-T. I have no idea what it does other than I plug it in a USB drive, and it communicates with this wirelessly. Ooh. And it uploads the information to a website called Garmin Connect. So I'm going to plug this in. So this is all the data from Garmin Connect. You can see the blue is the pace. The red on the bottom is heart rate. Exciting stuff, I know. Um, I also upload my stuff to Running Ahead. And Running Ahead has a lot of the same tools as Garmin Connect does. But it's a ton of data to analyze. I was just happy I was able to complete the run and I was running fast when I was supposed to and slow when I was supposed to. So I hope you liked the review.